right, welcome to another edition of the Sports and Show, and we'll be bringing you some major sport updates on major sport events. And I'm your host, Kofi East, and I'm here with yeah. Suleiman. Exactly, right. So let's look at Formula One. Um, that happened this weekend, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And as usual, I mean, Red Bull has been dominating this season. You know, they have a very good car. Um, Verstappen is, you know, chasing his third, you know, world champion. And, well, Sergio Perez took the win on the streets of Azerbaijan with Ferrari Leclerc. Well, taking the third um, for the podium there. And that's their first uh, finish on the podium. And, I mean, looking at the DNFs um, Leclerc has been facing this season, it's, it's a good news and, I mean, great news. You know, despite the fact that he's been chasing for the win, he started on pole. But, I mean, they were not fast enough, right, to maintain that position. And we go to the NBA. Now, the NBA playoffs has already been kicking off, and we are in the semifinals in each of the conference. And the Lakers are going to be taking on the Warriors. I mean, this is... Uh, I know a, a, a worthy like conference final, but unfortunately they have to take one out. Um, so Steph Curry and I mean LeBron have to really face it off there. Um, these two know, know each other very well from you know the Golden State and the Cavaliers day. So uh, the Nuggets too are going to be taking on the Suns, which oh, well Denver has already been leading. I mean two already. So I don't know if Chris Paul is going to try as much as possible to get a ring before <laughs> he retires. But going over to the Eastern Conference, well, the East, the East is very hot. I mean, the Heat surprised everyone and knocked out the box. Well, and right now they are going to be taking on the um, the Knicks, which they've already started leading by a one. And uh, you have Celtics going against the 76, uh, 76 uh, Sixers. And I mean, this is good because you have um, Embiid who is. You know, in the race for the MVP and Tatum. Ah, well, this this is going to be um, awesome. So um, let's look over to. I mean, in football, we have the FIFA Under 20, you know, tournament happening. Well, uh, in Argentina, the World Cup, right? And um, interestingly, we have um, the uh, African countries that qualified, and those are the countries that you know made it to the semifinals, semifinals exactly of the afcon um, tournament that took place and we have so we have senegal who are in group um, c and we have nigeria who are in group d we have tunisia also who are in group e and then we have the gambia yes gambia in group f what do you think about that because this group is a very very i mean strong you know group we have france korea republic that's south korea and you have Honduras, then Gambia. Yeah, Gambia, uh, starting from the Afghan, they started their campaign. Mm -hmm. So, looking at this, uh, but Argentina, obviously, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. you know, facing uh, France and uh, Korea with Honduras. Uh, probably Honduras may be an easy way for them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, France and Korea is going to be Yo. a tough game. It's, it's really uh, going to be tough. Because they can do it. Sure, yeah, sure. I mean, they need to keep their head down to get the work. Exactly, because exactly. Yeah, obviously, they are, they are the windows there. Like, when they, they go there, everybody is saying, ah, when these people, they are just... They were in the finals, too. Yeah, <laughs> so obviously, they are not here to play. But, well, who knows? This football <laughs> and everything can happen. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the... Um, if you look at the Afcon that happened, because I, I don't think a lot of people were looking really up to them, because if you look at the bigger countries who we know have been dominating football, like Gambia came out of nowhere and shocked everyone. So this is, yeah, it's an underdog story that we are going to be seeing, and let's hope that they can, you know, write history and make us all proud. And we have the other countries, Senegal, Nigeria, and Tunisia. Yeah, I, I can go for Nigeria or Senegal. Senegal too. Senegal, you know, they have a very good team. Yeah. For Nigeria, they have a very good team, but the problem is maybe, I don't know, they lack composure mm. and other things that they need to work on. They need to work on. But for Senegal, I think Senegal, we have a freeway here. Senegal against uh, Japan, Japan, Israel, you know, and Colombia. Yeah, Senegal, they can pass. Yeah. Mm. Maybe for Nigeria, probably. Nigeria is, look, Nigeria has Italy, right? They have Brazil. Oh. <laughs> and they have Dominican Republic. And this is, this is a, a, a group that is not going to be as easy as it is because Italy and Brazil. I mean, Brazil has a very, very good youth yeah. team, right? A very, very good team. If you know Brazil, the youngsters that have been coming up. So let's, let, let's wish them the best, you know, to come home and go on and make us so proud. Yeah, hopefully they might surprise us. But them coming from that group. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be tough. But let's see what will happen. 
All right. So um, then let's go on to the leagues that have already been um, closing. I mean, right now, a lot of teams are trying to, you know, close the the gaps, you know, try to qualify for the Champions League, try to get Europa, uh, Europa League placement, or even avoid relegations. Because some teams are really in desperate need to get out of the bottom, you know, leagues of the major league tables. And let's start with Syria. Because some interesting matches are happening and some teams are bottling their chances of, you know, <laughs> going to Europe. Uh, so Napoli, find it, I mean, they are going to be delayed, you know, to lift the trophy yeah. because they've been waiting for it. Oshman, the, all the rest, Kavicha. I mean, this team has really, really pulled something which we were not even expecting because Napoli was not even in the in the in the talks for winning the Serie A. But now yeah. uh, they will have to wait for a while before they can lift the trophy. Yeah, Napoli they started their campaign very well, mm -hmm. but I don't know what all of a sudden what happened along the along the way. So it was a very good game though. And uh, I can see that you know by even watching the game, you can realize that when the fans they are they were delighted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened. Like the defense, maybe losing some of their players, like that Chinese was his name. Uh, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the Korean defender. Exactly. Yes. So losing him, losing him, you know, really uh, destroyed okay. because they are, it has effects on All the right. back side. Let, let, we, we, Take a short break, then we would like even dive in more to the Syria. So uh, stay with us. We'll be coming back again, and we'll dive in more, much more in the Syria matches. Yes, and welcome back. And if you are still watching, well, this is the Sports and Show, and we were talking about the CR. I mean, how Napoli um, failed to seal, you know, the vi the the victory to finally lift the Serie A trophy, which they've been craving uh, from the, from the uh, latter days. Which, so let 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 let's see. Um, they played against Salen exactly, and one one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was a um, an easy match, which Napoli should have. No, secured yeah, it. Napoli should have just you know won the game, but uh, Salmantan also came with a good, you know mm -hmm. with, with good plans because yeah. they also want to come out from the relegation battle. And so obviously, the yeah. table there is hot. Yeah. So it's really not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Like they are, they are not actually in the uh, relegation relegation zone, but they only be secured. Yeah, mm -hmm. within that area. So the gaining point against Napoli was a. Uh, very good game. Some, yeah, something very good for them. It was good for them. Mm -hmm. And Napoli too, I think they let their fans out because, you know... Yeah. This was at a home, you know, this was at home. Like, everybody was... I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, were expecting to be celebrating that night. But let's... I, I know they're going to finally do it. So, Roma and Milan also drew 1-1. One, one. Um, Jose Mourinho and the boys, you know, doing all the possible best to try and get into the Champions League. Because they are really doing well. They are really doing well. I mean, from the conference you know europa conference league to now the europa which if they win they automatically also qualify for champions league, champions league. yeah Mourinho is, is, is really trying you know, he's mm -hmm. really trying you know uh looking at back days you know his problem with tottenham you know them coming to uh, uh, taking you know uh mm -hmm. roma to glo glory with yes the, uh, yeah. conference league and now even to the europa league you know he's still trying so i think he should be giving the, the credit and I think Abraham, you know, really tried. Oh, that yeah, he's really, he's really shaped him. Yes, yeah, yes. Securing that, mm -hmm. you know, that that, that equalizing goal was really important. Something very, very important. Um, to talk of, I mean, Mourinho, what what he's doing is, I mean, amazing, impressive. Because Roma, you know, they've been struggling, but they they are doing well now. And Milan, I mean, Milan at the beginning of the season, they. Defending champions, they did not give us expectation what we are expecting them to you know be doing. Like right now, we should be seeing them contexting with Napoli, you know, for the title. But Napoli has run away with it. Uh, they, they, are, they are in the Champions League, so we they started their campaign very slowly. Slowly, and, uh, Napoli also capitalized their chances. Exactly, they happen to go the long run. Before AC Milan and Inter Milan tried to catch up, tried to catch up, but now I think it's already late. So they, you know, <laughs> the title race is, is settled. Yeah, their hope is the cha winning the Champions League yeah, now. Their hope is to win the Champions League. Sure, which is another deal. Mm. But hopefully, one of the Milan will do something. Hopefully, so that that Milan derby, we, we are going to be looking up to it. And Inter Milan, 
faced Lazio and Lazio uh, well I mean they are second in the league for them to bottle you know show a, a very very poor performance against Inter Milan and losing that's pretty pretty bad for them because right now if you look at the league table uh Napoli excluded we have Lazio right so from second to Atlanta Lazio on 61 Atlanta who is seventh is on 55 so the points between these teams here right now is just like three points right just a game um to switch it up so they say yeah you should be keeping an eye on it because whoever is going to be qualifying for the champions league is going to be um interesting any every match you play from now on is as important as it is right now and juventus uh points have been returned yeah. so that puts them back in third place yeah that really helped them but like uh juventus their entire campaign was just like oh what is what is going on? This is not the Juventus, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, no idea. But now, uh, looking at them, they although they have the players, mm -hmm. but maybe there's something wrong with the squad. A lot of, I mean, a lot of things have to be. It might be the coach or mm -hmm. anything happening in their squad, but they only really have the players and uh, losing game, you know, losing to Sozualo, uh, that mm -hmm. was a big blow. A very, very big blow there. Yeah, maybe if they are not be careful, then others will come and take, you know, <laughs> Take over because AC Milan and uh, uh, Inter Milan they all they almost equal in points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, it's it's really tight. D they are at risk to you know yeah. to drop. So then going over to the La Liga, La Liga. I mean, some actions took place. Um, it's yet to be close. So looking at La Liga, we have a couple of matches that would be uh, looking at. Because a lot of goals, I mean, happened this weekend. A lot of action. Barcelona trashing. <laughs> Real Betis, 4-0. <four> <laughs> I mean, Barcelona right now, they are just having fun. Right? They are just having fun. That, that's the only thing. That, I mean, they, they can really stand on their grounds and say, we are going to be winning the league. So, <laughs> how was it? I mean, Real Betis got a record in the game, too. Let, yeah, let's look at that. Yeah. Betis. You know, Harden being it was not because of... Uh, on the record. But the red card, you know, that chance on uh, Petri, mm -hmm. the game would have been very difficult. Very difficult. Because, you know, Real Petri, Betis, you know, they play, you know, mm -hmm. very well. So I think it will, it will not have been a very, you know... A easy game for Xavi and the boys there. But the red card have been, so they have a easy game. And Lewandowski score, scoring to over surpass and Benzema and Benzema. In the, in the, <laughs> the golden boot, you know, is you know, on. The yeah, the, the rest for the golden boot is yeah, really on right now. So, yeah, and that's uh, Real Madrid. Real Madrid 4 um, 2 against Ameria. Um, Real Madrid, I mean, they, they, are, they, are, they are on point. You know, right now, Champions League, I believe, is their main target, but still in the league, they are performing. Then you have um, Atletico Madrid, uh, who drew with Mal Maloka. Right? And Maloka also suffered a record there, but Atletico Madrid, they've, you know, Sorry, I, that was Athletic Club, right? Yeah, yeah. That's Athletic Club. And Atle going over to At Atletico Madrid, they won five. That was a nice game. <laughs> so, Absolutely, you know, yeah, I, trashing I um, Valladolid. That, you know, sent out mm. the pitch that yes, day. yes. It was just unstoppable. Very. And looking at Memphis, you know, goal, wow, it was classic. And the combination of, you know... Uh, the parent does, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have developed that chemistry. Really good game. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Atletico Madrid people love to say, but I don't know what is happening. They've, they should really keep it up. Because if next season they come back and they are playing like this, Right, we could be seeing like that, you know, three title, um, that three horse race for the title again, because right now it seems like only Real Madrid and Barcelona, season out of season, you know, you know, put up a challenge for it. But then we have the Bundesliga with um, Dortmund <laughs> and Bayern, just you know, sometimes exchanging places to try and see who would um, secure the title. Um, but Bayern. They uh, took their chances and won against Hector Berlin, right there, uh, two 0 That I would say that was a good. But Dortmund for Dortmund drew. Yeah, that was a nice game. The game, you know, Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund. Nice game. And uh, what happened? The hosts just capitalized their first chance. They yeah, but both teams. And uh, Dortmund tried to, you know, equalize and win the game. They equalize eventually, they could, and the keeper really, you know, like, really saved them. Yeah, yes, the amazing. Really saved, really saved. Like, I was there, I said, Wow, this this guy was really crazy. And no matter what happened, like, what happened here, 
let us just try and do this game a week. Oh, really? So that was really it. And I, I can see uh, some of these Dortmund players that are frustrated. So wow. Yeah, because I mean, if you are if you are second, literally points or you know a game away from winning the league, I mean they were leading until after they are lost to Bayern. I think. I don't know if mentally this is affecting them because if you go over to the which you are going to be going over to um, soon in the Premier League, Arsenal too is kind of suffering from <laughs> that mentality. But we'll be holding on a bit. Yeah. So those are some uh, games that happened. That uh, aside that the other matches, not much. I mean, Wolfsburg trashed uh, Mainz by three goals to nil. Yeah. So that was good for them there. And going over to the league, uh, we have. PSG losing. <laughs> I saw this uh, comment someone was making that. I mean, PSG, once they are knocked out of the Champions League, their season is literally over. Because they begin to fall apart and they don't really take the league, you know, as um, they were taking it in the Champions League. Yeah, for PSG, you know, <clears throat> there's a mentality about the team. Mm. If Mbappe do not operate, then the team have not. Wow. Mbappe is their main, the main... is the main man. But for Lionel Messi, he can go for games, you know, score one game, you know, go in last five games, you know. And it wasn't really impressive because, like, uh, looking at Lionel Messi at PSG, it's just like uh, mm. you, like, he's not like the Messi people know. No, I mean, he's older, so age, yeah. age, you can put the age factor in. So here, Mbappe have to be the ending. So to run Mbappe it. Mbappe sees the game underscore, okay, well, that's it. And Neymar injuries. Never Hard to rely on. Yeah, the rest of, rest of the season. So, PSG. Yeah, I mean, uh, PSG, yeah, like you really um, talked about their dependence on Mbappe because if. And a lot of people, I mean, supports. There are a lot of people that have said it several times because if you look at PSG, they have the money to buy all the players they can buy, right? They have the best players available. They have fought that front tree, um, tree. I mean, every team would. You know, try to have them there, but this brings us to the that comparison. Sometimes we get that some people will say, "Oh, Man City are you know dominating the EPO because they have the money to buy the best players." But PSG also has the money to buy the best players. But why aren't they able to do it, right? And that that we should be giving giving a lot of credit to the coaches that yeah, you know for PSG. Maybe there's something wrong with the team. They really need the to team, build. They really have players. They have world class, world class uh, players. Team. But yeah. the problem is, whenever they come to the UEFA Champions League, there's always a problem. A very big problem. problem. Immediately they go to knockout stages. I don't know. Anytime they play against tough op oh. opponents, mm -hmm. they collapse. They collapse. You don't even understand with this player, this is the area he's playing, or this is the area. Because you come to see that, uh, okay. They are players. Three players will be minus. Mbappe doesn't charge. Neymar doesn't charge. He doesn't. Messi do not charge. So you have if three you have defenses there. Players <laughs> minus in your team. You yeah. only expect them to carry ball. Yeah. Without that, the the midfielders. They are, they are all variety and variety it's not, I mean, variety anymore. They, they are not the same anymore. So, you know, that they really have to fix it because as much as you have the money, right, you have to really focus on building a strong, strong team. And, and Marcel, well, Marcel won against Alexandre, the 2-1. Uh, amazing, um, because right now they are really playing well. Monaco lost to Montpellier, 4-0. Yeah. <laughs> that was, and Lille won against Ajaccio, right? And that, is, that was a 3-0 win for them. And we have Strasbourg losing to Lyon. And Lyon had a red card, because that was also an interesting game that happened there. So, looking at the stands right now for the league, uh, PSG might still win it. Looking uh, because right now they are on seventy-five points, and Marseille, who is in second, is just on 70. So there's a five-point difference. Exactly, five points different. Still possible for Marseille. Uh, yeah, my, um, if PSG bottles it, definitely they really have to sack a lot of these players. They have to let them go. Yeah, especially with Messi and them. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah rumors. Yeah, rumors is already out there. Yeah, for Messi, I don't think he'll even extend his contract. His contract. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's really crazy, though. Mm. 
Champions League, he needs to be crazy. Yeah, yeah but removing Mbappe at PSG is not going to be easy. It's not going to be, because <laughs> right now, and the EPL, well, the biggest um, league in Europe, well, or should I say even in the world, because right now, the EPL is just on fire right now, because, I mean, Holland, Holland is destroying, you know, records, because now officially he has broken the record. At first he was on the same, you know, uh, level with uh, Salah, but finally he has broken it and he's all, all on the way, you know, to clinch even the EPL as well and even the Champions League if they go on. Yeah, so, I just feel like they won. <laughs> and I just told you, you know, uh, Premier League in the Farmers League, I just can't understand. And funny enough, they, they call the German League the same. People say, oh, Haaland is Haaland because German League. German League. So now he came to Premier League. In fact, he's de destroying defenders anyhow. I just can't <laughs> understand. Like, what is happening? The defenders, they are from... Uh, no, you have to give credit to him because uh, uh, as much as we have one of uh, one, one in a generation talents, you know, like Messi, Ronaldo, Haaland is definitely on the way to, you know, take that scene because Ronaldo is phasing out. Messi, in the last days, Right, Mbappe, Haaland, that show, yeah, you know. Mbappe too, his consistency is not that too. Uh, and I think now... He has to leave uh, PSG. <laughs> yeah, Vinicius, Vinicius, because for a while we thought he's just going to be a second yeah, man. Also, yes. So yes. He's, in the, he's in the debate. He's in the debate as well. Mbappe and Haaland, so... Looking at this, I think we... Balando... FIFA best. Well, that would be an interesting race. That would be an interesting race, and we can't uh, wait uh, for that to happen. And Newcastle, I mean Newcastle. Ah, well, this is an example of how money can really build a team. You know, not just buy players. This, this is a team. Newcastle right now is a team because they. You know, sometimes it's not about the money you have in the team or mm, what exactly you have. But it's how do you manage manage it? And uh, I can give full credit to the coach. Yeah, the coach is really, really good. They were. Because, like, many teams, you know, they have money, but yesterday they cannot, you know, do anything. Look at Tottenham. <laughs> if you have to call in the world. Tottenham is, a diff uh, Tottenham is their own it's, issue. And because still, uh, Tottenham. Uh, their, their owner is not even helping them. Look at Levy, right? Uh, Modric has to literally force his way out. Bill has to force his way out of that, of there as well. Kane, well, Kane also has to force his way out. no possibility of Hurricane winning a title. <laughs> the almost won. The almost won. I mean, let's not talk about the Odi Cup. The Odi Cup is not, because they've won one trophy like that. Yeah, the Odi Cup is not a trophy. Yeah, right? it's not a trophy. They've won, uh, they almost won with Mourinho. Yeah. But as we say, Tottenham don't want to win a trophy. So they start with Mourinho. Before. Yeah, that was the main reason why Conte left the club because he believed that there is no. The, nah. The Players are not ready to play when they are in prison. Exactly. So, as a team, you, no matter what happens, if you are in a the prison, then you need to control the tempo. Look at the <laughs> Look at their last campaign, you know, last season. They're being prison, but come on, see them playing as if, you know. They Nobody are. eyes were. Like, we, we actually would have said, yes, that's it. But they still went on as the dark horses, right, because of their form, but they still went on and won the Champions League, yeah. right? But, speak, I mean, speaking of Tottenham, <laughs> against Liverpool was... Uh, was if, if you were watching in the first 15 minutes, you you saw the scoreline, you would have shouted, like, what is happening? Because their defense was non-existent. Yeah, yeah. Just running through, you know, that defense there. And they, they are old. Right, the new guys, the young guys they've brought into the chemistry is in there. Right, the front line, Kane and Son are they literally the only people carrying them. Especially Hurricane. If Hurricane do score, then that's the end. <laughs> Hurricane, mm -hmm. I can say Tottenham, Hurricane is the architect. The architect of it. Architect. architect of that. If he do not, you know, walk or let's say come out of mm -hmm. the game, design, do everything, nothing will be done. Not too, so then, then. I, <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, I, I was happy to see Luis Diaz on the score six, uh, coming back from injury mm -hmm. after a long time. Then you know scoring, scoring, the, and and, and Jota. Whoa. And I mean the defense as well is what caused uh, Tottenham to lose. Yeah, yeah, that that, that uh, error there. A very very bad pass. So we would uh, be taking a very short. Stay with us, and we'll be back.
we were talking about uh, Brighton, trashing Wolves, <laughs> six nil. Wow. Yeah, the game was fun. Like I don't know what happened to Wolves. You know, sometimes <laughs> you tend to see yeah, Wolves here yeah, again. They play. Yeah, they, they play. They play. All of a sudden, Wolf they just fall apart. And no matter what, what happened, they will be just be at a ten. 10 position. Mid, a mid table team. Yeah, mid table, mid table team. And I've seen Welbeck, you know, uh, scoring two goals. It was a good game. Very, very, very good game for them. Brighton are amazing, absolutely. Um, and uh, Crystal Palace and West Ham, a similar scoreline for what happened between Liverpool and Tottenham. You know, Crystal Palace clinching it, you know, 4 3. I mean, these teams, they've been struggling a bit, you know, uh, but <laughs> they are still going to be, you know, mid table to survive the league. And Manchester United, well, winning again. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. Too bad. I think Bruno Fernandes saved him. Because <laughs> the game was really tight. Yeah, and very, very. Manchester United should have capitalized their chances because they have yeah. a lot of chances. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they couldn't yeah. capitalize yeah. on that. Capitalize on that. As far as the ring, you know, it was a good game. It was a good game. Yeah. A good game. And you yeah. have and Leeds. Well, Bournemouth, look, Bournemouth has been a team, you know, Bonnie, you know, B oh, sorry, Bournemouth, Bonnie is a Brentford because Brentford also, um, to talk of them, they won against Nottingham Forest. But Bournemouth um, absolutely destroyed Leeds. You no, know, Leeds. Leeds really have to really take care because they are fighting for relegation. And right now, if this is not a good a game that he should have lost. But yeah, definitely, because looking at the, the stats, Bournemouth is always at the. Uh, yeah, they are also you know struggling and. Yeah, in the relegation zone, so try, trying trying to survive. How can you how can you lose against you know Bournemouth like this? But you know this this is pretty many. Exactly. So anything can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. So it was a good game for them. And All right. We, you know, gaining some points from that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really you know. Equator. Very, very good for them. Very, very good for them. So Chelsea and Arsenal are going to be playing, right? Chelsea and Arsenal are going to be playing later. And Leicester also with Everton. So we'll be looking up to for the Chelsea versus uh, Arsenal game. I mean, Arsenal literally has to win this, right? But then that will be our closure for there. So another time on this shit, same show again, we'll be bringing you some more updates of what is going to be happening. And also even the Champions League, because we've already entered the month of May and it's going to be coming up. All right, so stay with us. We'll come your way again next time. <laughs>